This is a video about transistors, and to help me, I've made a very simple circuit. I've got a knock gate and an LED, and when I press the button, the LED goes off, as I would expect. This circuit works really well. Now, I want to make my LED brighter, so I'm going to change it and put a light bulb in place. Like this, I'm going to take out the resistor and the LED. I'm going to put in my light bulb in exactly the same place and I should now have a nice bright light. Let's try it and see. Press the button and nothing happens. And the reason nothing happens is because the logic gate cannot provide enough current for the bulb. The logic gate can only provide a few, a few milliamps. The bulb takes hundreds of milliamps so we have a problem. We need to use a transducer driver, and I'm going to look at using a bipolar transistor to do that. Here I've rebuilt my circuit to include a transistor. I took my original circuit and added a transistor to it, just like that. And with my transistor I have a resistor for a base, my NPN transistor and my light bulb attached to positive up here. Here's the emitter connected down to zero volts. Here's the base connected through the resistor to the output of the logic gate. And here's the collector attached to the light bulb. Let's have a look at some voltages. So the output from the logic gate is eight volts. It's quite happy. The base of the transistor is at 0.8 volts because the transistor turns on at 0.7 volts so 0.8 volts for the base that's why we need this resistor here because it's got 8 volts one side 0.8 volts the other side so you need to drop the voltage to the base and the collector is just connected through the bulb to positive let's press the button see if it works Fantastic. Now I'm going to calculate the value of this base resistor just here. So first of all we need to take some measurements. So we'll measure the current that the bulb's taking. That's 150 milliamps using my ammeter. We'll measure the output voltage of the chip. Let's have a look at that what it comes out to be. So it's going to be 8 volts. And the final thing we need to measure is we need to measure the gain of the transistor. And the easiest way to do this is to actually just use our multimeter. So I connect it to this function here, connect my transistor into the correct measuring space, plug it in, and it has a gain of 75. Plug it back in our circuit. And then write all those values down on our notepad just here. So the current flowing through the bulb, which is the collector current, is 150 milliamps because we measured it. The gain of the transistor is 75 because we measured that. And therefore, the base current is going to be 150 divided by 75. I seriously didn't choose these values on purpose, it just happened that way, but it works out as a very nice 2 milliamps. Our resistor, which we're trying to calculate, has a voltage from the logic gate of 8 volts. We need to have 0.7 volts across the base emitter junction of the transistor. When you draw your transistor here, like this, then this voltage here is 0.7 when the transistor is working. And remember, this side in our circuit diagram is attached to zero, so therefore this point here is 0.7 volts to turn the transistor on. So the potential difference across the resistor is therefore 7.3 volts. If we now use our resistor equation, 
R base equals 7.3 divided by 2 times 10 to the minus 3, which if we get our trusty calculator out, is going to give us 7.3 divided by 2 times 10 to the minus 3 equals 3,650. And I should have gone slightly lower, but the only one I had available was this one here, which is 3,900 ohms. So there we go. That's how you calculate the base resistance.